What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of We Found This in the Yard. amigos welcome back we're here it's closing time we're the last customer stand and we found a freelander drive shaft that's what's up oh, almost lost a 10 yeah guys, we're out here, moss landing, pick and pull. And there it is guys, last one's at the yard. Not a soul left, but the employees. And well, you guys can see what we're going home with. amigos so it's pretty dark now we must what is que honda amigos so que honda amigos is I thought he said gay hondas amigo <laughs> <laughs> well for those of you who might be you know hearing the wrong thing um when i welcome you guys to the video i say que honda amigos which means like what's going on in spanish like que onda but or it's you also can, you can just be like on the blog, you know, Christian, and like, what's cracking, you guys? <laughs> what's cracking on, you guys? Is you gotta put it all in the, 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 the feeling in the head motion, yeah. you know, bob the head yeah, and everything. What's going on? Uh, anyway, so, so what does that mean? So what does it mean? <laughs> so the second meaning of it is like what Honda, you know, like K Honda, like what Honda, like what Honda are we working on today? Although you already know what we do here. Also, the word Honda is actually in the the, the phrase. Yeah. So yeah. it's K Honda, like what Honda? Like, like what Honda? Yeah. Oh, and it's also like K Honda, you know, but like I say with an emphasis on the H. Yeah. You know, so it's like, if you get it, you get it. If not, well, welcome back. How y'all doing? <laughs> How you watch too much motion out of TV? <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're just out here cracking jokes. Um, 10 10. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's pretty late. Uh, but pretty much what we got done today, guys, was. We got the shaft delivered. The drive shaft is now in safe hands. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hey, no worries, man. Don't even mention it. I, I was looking for headers because I... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Header. Header. Before somebody go crazy in the comment section talking about we only got one set of headers. <laughs> Not two. Or more. Or plural. I was looking for one because I thought that mine had broken or snapped off, being that I have that look with... Wait, 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 wait. Technically, it did. <laughs> It did. You repaired it, did. it already. Yeah. So since the swap, he already repaired the header <laughs> once. Twice. Once that lazy man. 
second right here. No, 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 no. Prior to this, yeah. Remember, I had said, you know, run this header, run this exhaust system. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with taking it off and on again, right? Yeah. And then I see on the Instagram story that Lazy Man Garage was posting of you holding your header, and I was like, what did we just talk about when you left here, man? Try not to <laughs> tinker with the. Yeah, no, just put it in, leave it as is, like yeah, once and done. And then as soon as he gets back home to SoCal, he's already taking it apart again. And I'm, I didn't <laughs> understand why, but did I not tell you? Yeah, no, no, very, better? no, he, not once, not twice, but even when I was bringing the car down, he told me, don't run this header. And I said, nah, it's all good, which, it's all good. Which I let him <laughs> use my DC421 header, right, for the time being. That thing is hanging low. It's... Does your head and hang low? Does it wow? Does it <laughs> No, but um, I told Leo that the four one header in these cars, you're if you're low, you're gonna be banging a lot of things and you're gonna be smashing a lot of things. But in his case, you freaking cracked one entire runner. Yeah, no, all the way around, and it was the one all the way on the top. So you can roll the top half, but the bottom half, well, that's getting hugged by the rest of the runners. So, so what had happened was Leo was driving around, and then explain what happened again so i was driving around here in norcal driving with a buddy of mine and we noticed that all of a sudden we went from being you know discreet and quiet to we're completely open header Rah! It obnoxious as hell very very obnoxious and see the thing is single cam obnoxious is a lot different a lot different from b series obnoxious because we flow a lot more air Hey, what can I say, man? Be serious. It's just, it's, it's a new world. It's an exciting world. I love it. I don't think I'd go back. I don't see a reason to go back. I think if anything, we're going to go see if we can dig up some snails, huh? We're not going to go back. We're going to go 20 step forward. <laughs> but guys, tonight's, uh, tonight's project was fix the leak. Done. What he did was he called the doctor. Yes. <laughs> and then the doctor went to the storage and... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to put myself out there like, like, oh, look at Dana saving a day. No, Leo hit me up and he says, hey, I got an issue and I'm, I'm in the junkyard. I'm about to buy a stock header to replace his leaking, obnoxious, loud, broken header. And I was like, dude, I got a couple of them in the storage. Just go grab them. So I grabbed him a stock LS header with flanges and everything to modify to fit the exhaust system because this is an aftermarket uh, exhaust and header. So it has a flat flange and not a donut style. So I got the flanges and everything for him and you know, he was still like an hour out. So I got everything ready for him. Got the welding machine out here for him and everything. And then uh, once he showed up, jacked the car up. What happened? The header to the exhaust wasn't even there. So the obnoxious noise was literally just an open header, right? Yes, sir. But because the bolts fell out of the flange to the header uh, to the exhaust, the exhaust was dangling and it must have hit something. I don't know if you felt it, but what it did was, it was just a loud, just metal bending. Get you guys mind not the gun. Get you guys mind not the gun. I don't know what you guys were thinking I was doing. I'm saying that he must have hit something because the cherry bomb that's underneath the car broke off the exhaust system. Get your minds out the gun. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how that happened, guys, but. Yeah, the, the the exhaust from the header back was just down too low, knocked something, kinked it, pushed it back, and tore it pretty much about 80% of the way, you want to say? Yeah, yeah. It was hanging. I literally could twist it around. So it yeah. was hanging on like a piece of whatever was left from the damage. And uh, so what we did tonight was um, I told Leo, I said, you know what? Bolt the cherry bomb back to the header, align it to the exhaust, Get the welding machine, tack it all up, or weld as much as you can, unbolt it, drop it again, weld it entirely, and then bolt it back to the exhaust system and see if the obnoxious noise was just because of the disconnection from the, the header to the cherry bomb. And uh, came to the conclusion that that was it the entire time. It was just disconnected, guys. It wasn't broken. But I did make that junkyard run. And thankfully, because of that junkyard run, like. The doctor here said i reached out to him and i tried to get some assistance mm -hmm. i was what did i call you for yeah i was calling you because i saw a b20 block that surprised me a b20 c2 and i was like hey man like what's up with this and also can i take the headers 
And in the midst of that, we were talking about, oh, you know, it'd be cool to find a Freelander. And well, you guys know what happened there. But guys, we're about to wrap it up for tonight. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> a little bit, little bit more of what we did tonight. So, oh after, yeah, yeah, yeah. So after, after, after yeah, yeah. So after <laughs> we turned the exhaust on and everything is nice and quiet, and uh, you know that's situated now out of the way for the time being, because we have plans for redoing the exhaust system and stuff and getting rid of the four to one header. Because we came from a meet yesterday, and literally, you're I was driving in front of you and I was watching your exhaust literally the bumper and the exhaust was like this it's <laughs> probably why I was banging on everything but after we situated the header for tonight uh enough for Leo to make it back home without blowing his eardrums out um we decided to do a compression test I don't know we didn't record it but I, oh, I, yeah, record, yeah, I might yeah, just yeah. send you one of the clip but right. uh we did a compression test right and I don't know if you guys have seen hopefully the previous videos if Leo uploads them he did a compression test on this engine, which was given to you by SB um, Machine Shop. SB Machine Shop, mm -hmm. and uh, it had super low compression. You had 60, 140, 30, and 30. So I said, hey, Leo, before we do the swap, let's situate the compression first before we waste our time and you driving up here, so on and so forth. I said, take off the timing cover, check the timing, make sure it's in time. You did, you did all that, and it turned out to be two tooth off. And I told him that if the compression was that low and it is too tooth off, you more than likely have a bent valve, right? Mm -hmm. So he retimed it, put it back, you know, dead centered and TDC and the whole timing jazz and did a compression test and it was even worse. Yep. So yeah, it went down low. So confirmed enough for me <laughs> to tell him that your valves are probably trash. So um, again, before this video, you guys should see hopefully the swap video and uh, we went like above and beyond and did the whole nine the rebuilding the head changing eight valves and valve seals and all this all that stuff that you kind of want to do when you're already in that area and we just did a compression test you guys you guys are curious to know uh what we just came up with as far as result goes um hopefully you're throwing some pictures but um <laughs> cylinder one we're at 200 cylinder two and three 190 and cylinder four is at 200 that is a lot compared to what it was uh when he first got the engine big big leap big, huge big. leap and i mean numbers are numbers but how does the car drive it's awesome man it's just it feels like it has constant power bend there's there's not a spot in the power band where it feels like it's weak like or it's or something, yeah. yeah it's just constant power on demand and since the swap you've driven in north cal socal twice now that's at least mm -hmm. 1200 miles plus driving it like Everywhere, everywhere around in socal and, and uh, up here going to the young <laughs> yeah so you know this motor's been doing great since it left the house the first time after the swap and uh there's gonna be a lot more to follow with this here real soon so stick around subscribe to leo man <laughs> definitely guys so with that no 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 that being said there's there's a little bit more that we gotta talk about <laughs> Cause he had a super leaky distributor <laughs> seal and this was obviously cleaned by yours truly all right i scrubbed the shit out of this and uh it was completely covered in oil so leo was like yeah the distributor o-ring is leaking and i took a look at it i'm like yeah it is and uh big shout out to my buddy brian he got out of the honda so he gave me a whole box to, uh, of, of seals and miscellaneous like oem honda stuff that uh he's been collecting throughout the years so i went through my pile and what I yeah, do. I we found, thankfully we found one. I yeah. found a brand new. Where'd you throw it? Uh, uh it's probably not here. Yeah, we already threw it in the way. Oh, it's right here. Brand new. Brand new distributor. Red seal. Distributor seal. Part number for you guys if you need it. They're still available. Three zero one ten PA one seven three two. Right there, three hundred under three hundred dash PA one dash seven thirty two. So o ring. We swapped pretty much the o-ring over got rid of the leak cleaned it up again so that way it looks nice and clean and not full of oil and that's pretty much wrapping up our day there you know now now we can end this video <laughs> i think the only thing i forgot was thank you dana thanks for always being there thanks for always letting me come through you know do my shenanigans here because man hey, lord knows <laughs> hey, even when the shop closes early or i'm not renting here in the garage if the homie needs help if the spot's available, the spot's, I mean, the spot, I had to move my car. But if the spot's available, more than welcome to, especially if the home move. Definitely. Shout out to everybody else who's helped with the build. As we mentioned, one of the main supporters, one of the, you know, big 
big shout out is to SB Machine Shop. I mean, provided this, the whole this heart. This wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for SB Machine Shop. Them, as well as Mike Bueno, he offered the transmission. Headers oh, came we're doing through a full, other we're doing deals. Full shout. Yeah, I mean, shout out the Motor Mount guy. It's, it's it's all it's all in here, man. Shout out the Motor Mount guy. It's finally running, and she's doing great. So, Motor Mount guy is the homie KG Laquada hooked it up with the engine mounts, brand new from Nemo's Garage with the CC tail lights. Where did shift linkage come from? Shift linkage came from the homie ninety wheel horsepower. Sorry, I can't remember your name right now, but I pulled up to your house very late one time, and he said, "You know what? I was gonna sell you this, but take it." Where did axles come from? Axles. Those axles came from the homie, oh, Eric, uh, my bad. I'm just so horrible with my name, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure your name is Eric. It's all good. <laughs> if, even if you don't remember your name, he's giving you guys a shout out, B. And thankful. Because thank you guys. He's very it's, thankful for that. Wouldn't have made it possible without any of you guys, man. Like, Wait, 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 wait. Who's the transmission guy? Mike Bueno. I already oh, Mike that. Bueno? Yeah, yeah Mike oh, Bueno. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, he's local here. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, local. Yeah, he's local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a little yellow hoodie on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but biggest shout out to the man right here standing next to me, Dana. Because, man, inspiration, motivation, and just everything else on top of that. Like, I don't know, man. Just thanks. It's all good, man. I mean, if I can help, like me, I man. said, any way possible. <laughs> you know what I mean? I try to help in any way possible. You know, you here we are guys a lot of stuff he didn't have, <laughs> yeah no he also yeah a lot of things. Uh, yeah he also provided a lot of the hoarder items brackets bolts Robin miscellaneous alternator. knowledge yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah robin alternator and belts is, i'm glad you picked up on it because a lot of people it's like i tell them stuff it's in one ear out the other ear and uh the way i saw you put this together obviously i let you do all the work yourself with guidance and um you picked on it on it quick you know what i'm saying all those little things I've talked to you about every time that you come here and uh, I see you taking it to an account like you you are taking the stuff that I tell you into consideration um, and I see it I mean and uh, and and like I, I how do you how would you say it like I'm proud of you man you make a lot of you made it, you've made a lot of leap and changes every time I see you again out here from all the stuff we've talked about and stuff you know like I said just trying to trying keep to the help progress. Keep anyway, you know? the progress, because progress is better than no progress, man. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, B swap Leo. Now it's just a matter of uh, keeping up with the maintenance, keeping this motor healthy, and um, when all is right, when place and time permits, <laughs> this thing is not going to be a stock Ellis anymore <laughs> or anytime soon. Hell yeah, man! But y'all stay subscribed for that one. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on.